Glock 19 Gen 5 MOS. So what's so good about it versus a Gen 4 or another Gen 5 Glock 19? Well, we're gonna get into that. Don't go away. So what's different about this Gen 5, aside from the MOS being that it can take a red dot on it? In my opinion, absolutely nothing. Um, you've got your traditional sights on it. This is, this the gun is empty. It's dry. I did that off camera. I don't feel like I should have to do that, but the safety Nazis are going to fucking have my ass if I don't. So it's got your traditional sights. You got the regular U sight in the back and then the regular front Glock sight in the front. Um, it does have forward serrations on the slide if you like that kind of shit. Uh, it's rumored to have a better barrel, uh, more accurate barrel, a little bit better trigger. Um, it does have removable back straps. As far as the trigger goes, better trigger, I don't know. I, I, can, I personally can't tell the difference. I've got a Gen 4 um, Glock 19, and I'll run a mag through this, and I'll set it down, and I'll run a mag through the Gen 4, and I can't, I honestly can't tell a difference, but... I'm not super crazy about Glock triggers. I can run them. They're okay. They're, it's not the worst trigger I've ever felt, but I'm not crazy about them to begin with, so I can't really tell a difference. Um, it does come with a front pick rail, just like your regular uh, Glock 19, Gen 3, 4, or 5. Uh, so anyway, the video is really going to be about the MOS part of this, the red dot on the top. Um, like I said before, it's a Vortex Venom. 3, 3 MOA dot. Um, what is the benefit to running a red dot versus iron sights? Well, that's kind of subjective. Some people don't like red dots. Other people, once they go to a red dot, they don't ever want to go back to an iron sight. Um, in my opinion, you should always start out learning how to run a handgun using iron sights. If you start out using a red dot, you're gonna get kind of spoiled to it. Uh, you're not gonna have, in my opinion, a good foundation for the fundamentals of sight picture and things like that. Um, once you learn how to run a gun with um, iron sights, you wanna go to a red dot, by all means. There's no there's no problems with that. Of course, you can get co-witness sights, so that way the rear sight is gonna sit up a little bit higher. That way you can look through the rear sight, see the red dot, put the red dot on the front post, put the front post red dot on your target and go. Um, some of the advantages that I've noticed you run in this is you don't have to worry about lining up two different sights. I mean, you just, you aim it, you put the dot on where you want the bullet to go and it goes. Now the other plates that it comes with um, will give you the option of running an assortment of other uh, optics. I know there's the Burris Fast Fire 2 and 3 that you can run. Uh, you can run an RMR on it. Uh, I can't remember what other what other ones you can put on it. I just I just went for the Vortex Venom. It was a, a good middle of the road um, as far as the price goes. It's stout. It you know it's reliable. You put the battery in the top of it, which I like. Some of them you got to take the red dot off. The battery's in the bottom and change it out. Put it back on. Rezero it. And I don't I didn't want to do all that kind of shit, but. Anyway, let's shoot this and see how it does. Okay, so today I'm running the QVO Tactical Glock 19 Gen 5 holster. Stands for Quick Violent Over. And I'm also wearing the magazine holster too. They don't sponsor the channel. I wish they did. It'd be pretty badass. Um, they make good equipment though. Go check them out on their website. So I'm going to be shooting at this silhouette here and then these targets right here. And uh, we'll look for accuracy, speed and target acquisition. Let's see how it goes.
Okay, so as you can see, I did miss a couple of times. Uh, you do have to control your speed still, but it is a lot quicker to acquire the target through that big lens on that red dot. I don't know if I get the dot in there, camera too. Probably not. You may not be able to see that, but um, literally though, as far as where you want the bullet to go, you put the dot there and it goes. There is one, there is a little one thing about that though. Whenever you pull up, you have to put that red dot right in the center of your screen, obviously. I mean, you can't have it off to the edge on one side or at the top or at the bottom and still hit. But it really is that simple. You put the red dot in the middle of the lens, you put the dot on the target, and there you go. So let's do some stuff at a little bit greater distance and see how it does. Okay, this is 50 yards. I'm shooting the same silhouette and it's just gonna be off to the left of that white barrel down there. Let's see how this does. All right, that's five hits. Let's take it back further. Okay, same silhouette down there. It's getting pretty small though. This is about 65 yards. So yeah, about that more accurate barrel, I think that's rumor. <laughs> no, I just need to put in a little bit more time if I want to shoot something at this distance, which is really impractical. But all in all, I got to say, red dots are, are pretty nice. Um, you do get a, a faster target acquisition. Uh, Follow-up shots are a little bit easier to do because your sight's not taken up. Your iron sights, on iron sights, it takes up half the half your target, the, you know, the bottom part of your target. With a red dot sight though, you see the whole thing, you know, from top to bottom. So it's a little bit easier to get your sight, your red dot right back onto it and uh, have a quicker follow-up shot. Okay, so final thoughts on the Gen 5 Glock 19 MOS and the Vortex Venom Red Dot Sight. Um, the Glock, it's just a Glock, you know, it's a great gun, very reliable, um, tried and tested, can't go wrong with it. The Vortex Venom, great Red Dot, I do have to admit that it's the only Red Dot on a handgun that I have had experience with, but I do have quite a bit of other Venom, or uh, Vortex products rather and none of it has ever let me down and neither is this this red dot sight it holds a zero it's easy to zero um it's got good battery placement right here on the top you don't have to take it off to replace the battery so that's definitely a plus and you get a good visible dot in there even when it's bright out uh, you can easily see the dot and if this is something that uh, you want to uh, try out and are curious about 
this is a good middle of the road you're gonna pay about 250 bucks it's not a bad price uh, the Burris fast fires two and three are a little bit cheaper but again I don't have any experience with those so I can't recommend it recommend them but anyway I hope you liked the video please hit the like button and subscribe I recently went over a thousand subs that's outstanding I never thought it would get this far so for everybody that is subbed to the channel thank you I do appreciate it and see you next time